Hello everybody and welcome back to our interview series with the finalists for Miss Survivor. I'm Rob Sesternino alongside Nicole Sesternino. Hello. And Nicole, we are in for a treat today. We are going to be speaking with Parvati Shallow. Mm -hmm, the Queen P. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check in with Parvati. Let's do it. We now welcome a woman who is a Survivor winner, a three-time Survivor player, a woman who's gone ar around the world for free and is back and is one of our Survivor finalists, or Miss Survivor finalists. Mm -hmm. Parvati Shallow, welcome! Ah, uh, thanks guys! And Parvati, first off, congratulations, congratulations on your nomination. Thank you so much, I'm so excited. Yes. This is a huge deal to be nominated for the Miss Survivor pageant. Yes. It's the first one, right? The first, the first one, one ever, yes. Pretty huge. And as you know, I've been taking my own tour de pageant recently <laughs> with ESP and all of our girls. So this is, I'm, I'm honored. Thank well, you. I don't know if everybody knows exactly what are, you, what are you doing with beauty pageants these days? I have thrown myself full force into the world of beauty pageants. We trained um, the former Miss California, Alyssa Campanella, who went on to become Miss USA last year. And that was my first pageant ever. And our girl won, so it was very exciting. And then my second pageant ever was the Miss New York pageant two weeks ago, and I hosted that one. So they dressed me all up in a sparkly evening gown, and I um, read the question to the girl. So what you guys are doing right now, I was doing two weeks ago in New York. Oh, the tables Ooh. have turned. <laughs> I know. It's crazy being on this side of the table. Of Skype. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then I judged the Miss Alabama pageant which was interesting. It's different judging. So uh, who's judging this pageant? Well, it's going to be, the fans are going to vote after we're going to post the right. five interviews and then everybody's going to get a chance to vote. I got to do some major kissing up to my fans. Mm -hmm. You got to well, suck their kneecaps. Well, it doesn't hurt. Clearly. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't hurt. I love hurt. you guys. <laughs> World peace. <laughs> World, World peace. <laughs> All right. So uh, what, what has your experience working with these other pageants taught you about the Miss Survivor pageant? I have to be honest with you. I was a little jaded when it came to beauty pageants and beauty queens. I was thinking that they are superficial or whatever. Very, I was very judgmental. And I, and I realized that I was so wrong. I mean, these girls are actually really incredible women, and they're so motivated and so driven, and they, they're they putting themselves out there in every possible sense of the word to be judged by someone else. It takes balls, major balls. And these girls are little, and they don't, if you look at them, you wouldn't think they had huge balls, but they do. I, <laughs> I would hope that most of the people in, in this competition or in the other beauty pageants around the world do not have huge balls. That is... <laughs> One criteria. That is a different That's competition. It's a, a whole <laughs> other pageant. It's a whole different competition. Okay. Nicole, what do you think? Oh, Should we... Well, now, you know, you're, you're in the big leagues of pageants now, Parvati. So I hope you got to bring your A game here. Yes. Okay, guys. Are, are you ready? Are Don't you ready? freak me out. All right. Don't freak <laughs> out. Don't freak out. So we have some questions for all of the Miss Survivors, and we have some questions uh, especially submitted for you by the listeners. the listeners. Okay. Okay. Let's have it. All right. The first question for you, Ms. Poverty Shallow. <laughs> Why should you be crowned Miss Survivor? Oh, that's an excellent question. Thank you. I think. <laughs> Stupid. You thought that one up? Yes. <laughs> I should be crowned Miss Survivor because I am the all around best girl for the job. Not only have I proven myself in the past with my performance in the game, I played with Russell. Mm -hmm. And I lasted 39 days with that man. <laughs> I ousted Boston Rob. I ousted Ozzy. And no one else that's in, this, in the running for this, for this crown can really compete with me within the game. That being said, I intend to take this crown and to do wonders with it. I want to take Ooh. my Miss Survivor title and reign around the world and show people that once you put yourself out there, you put your mind to something, that you can accomplish huge things that you never thought you could ever do. Wow. That's fantastic answer. Nobody, nobody mm -hmm. else is talking about taking the Miss Survivor crown global. Right, to the next level. To spread the message mm -hmm. of Miss Survivor. Yeah, I think in, the message needs to be spread. The fans need to know that their vo vo voices have been heard and their votes counted for something. And that I'm going to go out there and I'm going to take this crown and I'm going to do something really great and give back. Ooh. Oh, amazing. 
Yes. Okay. Well, so what the, will fans, you... the fans can write in and say what they want me to do with my crown afterwards. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Have dinner with their grandma. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a good answer. A very good answer. Well, well done on question one, our, our judges are impressed. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Nicole. Question number two. Okay. So... Miss Survivor needs to be very well-rounded, and she needs to bring some talent to the table. What talents can you offer as Miss Survivor? Well, for one, I can touch my tongue to my nose. Ooh, I don't believe let's you. Let's see it. Do you want to see it? We have to see it. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen anyone do that? That's talent. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> you have a very talented tongue. Yeah. <laughs> And I can sing Sir Mix-a-Lot, Baby Got Back, karaoke, without looking at the screen, anytime, uh, place. Give us a verse. Hmm. Wait, start it out for me. Oh, my God. Look at, her butt. Look at her butt. It's just so big. I mean, she looks like one of those rap guys' girlfriends. But who understands those rap guys anyways? <laughs> I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get wrong. And I pull up because you know that butt is tough. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh, baby, I want to get with ya and take your picture. My homeboys try to warn me, but that butt you got made me so horny. <laughs> wow, okay, well done. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. That's gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> tough to beat. <laughs> All right, that was that was tough. That was tough. Um, yeah, the the, uh, the Miss Survivor finalists have been very musical. Very musical. Yeah. Very musical. Yeah, cool. yes. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe uh, we should start a band. Oh, the uh, Miss the Miss Survivor traveling band. <laughs> yes, Be like the Spice Girls. Uh, one thing at a time, though. <laughs> All right, now uh, this is now it's gonna get serious. Yes. We've had a lot of fun so far. Had a lot of laughs. Take it down. Yeah, you're right. All right. Okay. Is there anything that we don't know about the other Miss Survivor finalists that you would like to share with us? Would you like to spill the beans? Oh, uh, well, guys, I don't have anything you should know. I don't have anything negative to say about anyone that I'm in the running with. I think they're all really amazing women. And I just ran into Courtney um, a couple weeks ago at Coach's movie premiere, and I'm just... She's glowing and she's so happy and I'm just so proud of her. She's taken on this whole new job and she is a massage therapist now and I've never seen Courtney look so good. And Jenna, I, I saw a couple weeks ago also, she's studying for her psychology master's at Columbia. So she's pretty legit. She's taking care of Ethan. She's by his side in the hospital while he's going through chemo and I just have to give her major credit for that. She's going through a lot right now and she's completely taking it in stride and she's so graceful and just a wonderful human being and Courtney I mean um Andrea I don't know very well so I really can't speak on her but I like her too I think she's cute okay okay so I'm sorry I can't diss my competitors <laughs> all right that's okay F fair fair yeah. enough all right okay. let let us uh, move into the uh, next portion of the interview yes this is the listener's choice question the listener's choice question okay are, are you ready all right, here, this is question number one, and this comes to us from Gary Dreslinski. Okay, and he says, Do you think the support of Russell Hance will hurt you in Miss Survivor the same way it hurt you during <laughs> Survivor Heroes vs. Villains? Now, if you didn't know that we did our, our first ever podcast with Russell Hance this the Hance, weekend, the Hance and cast. we asked Russell Hance for his... Uh, uh, endorsement, endorsement for Miss Survivor. Mm -hmm. His and official he said, endorsement. Well, he did. At first, he said this. The list of nominees doesn't even make sense. Yeah. But he said it's easy <laughs> to pick who his endorsement would be, and he said it has to be Parvati. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a huge shock to me, actually, and it kind of warms my little heart. Oh, oh. <laughs> because but, Russell and I haven't been speaking. Yeah, you know, well, and you, I thought that. He was really mad at me. Well, so, do you um, think his endorsement will hurt you? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I can't, I don't think so. I don't think that his endorsement will hurt me. I, I speak for myself and people should take me as an individual. 
And um, if you're voting, I think you should vote regardless of who's supporting who. It's like the presidential campaign. You go and you're, you're on your own out there on your platform. I know they have a lot of different supporters. Like, I have Oprah backing me, but does that help me or hurt me? I don't know. Wait, you have Oprah backing you? Is that official? I think it's official. I, I think, think she said it on her show. I'm making it official right now. <laughs> Is that official? Are you just really... You hear that you, garbage truck going? I do. <laughs> it's a garbage truck. And the garbage men, they Stand officially by. endorse you. I have the support of the Santa Monica Recycle Guys. I'm very green. Yeah, well, that's, that's good. Are you relieved that Sandra is not nominated for Miss Survivor, that people would not be able to throw their support behind Sandra after Russell's endorsement? I wish Sandra was nominated. Sandra and I have a battle for who's the queen of Survivor. And every time I see Sandra, she goes, I'm the queen. And I'm like, Mm-mm, no, you're not. I'm the queen. She's like, I'm the queen. And we battle it out. So I really wish that she was. But I think winning this title will help me solidify my argument with Sandra. It's I am the queen. Okay. Yeah. All right. That... But I would like to compete with her. Sandra like... Sandra versus Parvati? The... I like to compete with the best. <laughs> Maybe next year Sandra will be will be nominated. <laughs> Maybe. I don't, know I don't know if you guys know I'm a little competitive. So, yes. A little bit. <laughs> All right, Nicole. Next okay, question. Okay. This question comes from your old friend, Hornbull Mike Ramone. <laughs> He he wants to know how would winning Miss Survivor resonate with you in the bedroom? Oh, Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. (laughs) Well, Mike, that's an excellent question. Well, it sounds eerily familiar, actually. Mm. I think that I would, I mean, it's it's obviously going to give me more stature in the bedroom. I will take my my crown and my sash and I will always wear it when I'm getting down. (laughs) Careful. It's... it needs to be dry cleaned in between. <laughs> and maybe sterilized. <laughs> and I might even take a picture and post it on Twitter. Oh, okay. Twit pick. All or right. Twit pick. <laughs> this, could be, this could just be a tease. Oh, uh oh. Whatever know. gets you the votes. I don't know. All right. Question totally, number I'm three. Shameless. <laughs> question number three, Parvati. And it's always a ding, marry, kill, question number three. So, so here you go. You, you remember the rules of ding, marry, kill? Ding. Barry, Barry or Mary? Mary. Mary. No, no, there's no Barry. Put a ring on it. Yeah, put a <laughs> ring on it or kill. All Got right. It. Put a gun on it. All right. So uh, this comes to us from Gary five hundred K on Twitter. He says, "Ding, Mary, kill, Philip, Richard Hatch, or Rupert." Ooh, this is a oh tough my one. Gosh. This is tricky. Ding, Philip. Okay. Because I find him entertaining, so I think he'd be. Pretty comical. And he is the specialist. He's the specialist. Mary, I would marry Richard Hatch because yes. he's in jail, so it wouldn't really matter. I think he's I'm out like, now. I think he's out. Then I, I'm sure he'll end himself back up in jail anyway. So <laughs> I'd like to marry a convict. And Badass. then I would kill Rupert because he is just too much. I, I would have to agree. <laughs> kill Rupert. <laughs> All right. Now, Parvati, I, I have a special bonus ding, marry, kill for you that came in. Uh-huh. Uh, we, right. uh, this comes to us from... Uh, one, from a, another former survivor, uh, at the Shane Powers on Twitter, submitted a ding, marry, kill for us. For no. you. Oh, especially yes. for you. Uh, ding, marry, kill. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr., Gandhi, or President Obama? Oh, oh, it's a tough okay. one. So make or break. Tough one. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna ding Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. I am going to marry Gandhi. And kill Obama. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can say that. We do not. Oh, no, don't we do it. Take it back. Endorse Take it back. This. Ah, security. <laughs> There's five teams breaking into my house right no, now. No, no, no. Slat Shane. No. Okay. Is that, is that a, all Shane's fault. Is that a political stance or, or is that he just doesn't uh, just, do it for you? You don't like uh, as much as the other two. You know, I just think Gandhi, who wouldn't want to marry Gandhi? I mean, he just would elevate you to this level of. You'd live heaven on earth. Right. And Martin Luther King, he's done so much for the world. And Obama, I mean, come on. Who's really, are, no one's really balling these days. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe it would be a different yeah. story. Nobody is really balling Seems like balling a bore in the days. sack, Obama. Oh, please, Nicole. Uh, <laughs> don't, have, don't say such things about our commander in chief. I'm sure Michelle would His disagree. His mind is probably elsewhere. His mind is That's elsewhere. That's what I was going to say. Also, I really like Michelle. So I don't want to get involved with a married man. Yeah. She's <laughs> got a sick body, Michelle. She's a hottie, and she cares a lot about um, 
children, childhood obesity. So I like that. Yeah. Okay. Like and, the stands on healthy food for our kids. And of your two husbands, uh, Gandhi <laughs> or Richard Hatch, which one has the leg up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Richard Hatch is a little taller. So <laughs> if we're talking literally, it would be Richard. But Gandhi for me. I would take Gandhi any day. Okay. I would like to do tours with him and travel all over the world and just, I would be Gandhi's consort, anything. (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) Ooh la la. Whoa. All right. Okay. Um, Number four. Number four comes from Matt Noble, and he says, why shouldn't I vote for the other four Miss Survivor contestants? Oh, okay. (sighs) So, Matt, (laughs) that's an excellent question. And I'm going to have to answer it in the way that I answered my first original question. Because I'm the best woman for the job. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to take this crown and I'm going to make my reign supreme. And I'm going to do as much as I can to promote the Miss Survivor pageant so that it becomes a huge event yearly. And that we can have more of these and we can influence the world and create this sense of just because you can rough it and make it on the island and just because you can use a machete and chop open coconuts and sleep in the dirt doesn't mean you can't be beautiful. It doesn't mean you can't inspire others to find beauty within and also find beauty without. Okay. Okay. Good question. Good. good answer. Yes. I could keep, I could keep blabbering. All this. <laughs> Cut me right. off. Yes, you're, very, you're very good. You're very good. All right, last <laughs> last question uh, from Scott Chupak, and he wants to know, what is the most likely reason that after being voted Miss Survivor, you would be forced to resign in disgrace? What's one reason after being What's vo- the most likely reason that you would be forced to resign from the title oh. of Miss Survivor in disgrace? I don't even want to say this. Do I have to? I think you have to. I, I mean, you can choose to abstain from answering yes. a, a question, but this I think that would, I, I, that would be a coward <laughs> voice, and I am not a coward. So, I mean, it would only be if people could unearth my sex tape with Philip. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I, was like, I thought you were going to say uh, your uh, assassination attempt on the president. <laughs> well, <thought> either <laughs> one. It hasn't, neither has happened yet. Yeah. But if people could find that evidence, then yes. I, I would be forced to resign. Well, I, yes. I hope you hide that really deep under your bed. Yes, please. <laughs> please. We're not, even jo- we're not even joking around. You, because... all, you don't want to see? You don't wanna see? <laughs> I want to see his pink there. panties again. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he let me borrow them too. He came Ooh. to ESP the other day. He was wearing them. We took a rebounding class, and Philip wore his underoos. Ooh! <laughs> was, 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 there a, was there a lot of jiggling happening there? I would was imagine. There... Philip's in great shape. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't mean uh, body jig- fat bit. percentage. I would think. Jiggly bit. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> we have a strict confidentiality. All right, fair enough. And he is. He does have government clearance. Yes, he does. All right. <laughs> And finally, Parvati, what are your closing statements? Make make the sell us on the final case here. Why should you be crowned Miss Survivor? What, what before people? If somebody's sitting there, gonna go vote. You're the last thing they see. Give us the pitch. First of all, it's an honor to even be nominated among this amazing group of women. I just feel blessed that you guys chose me, and I want to say thank you to all of you for being so supportive and for loving me and putting me out there. It means a lot. Um, I intend to take this crown and make it my own and touch as many people's lives and hearts as I can, cure AIDS, cancer, find world peace, save the economy of America, and paddleboard to St. John. (laughs) Wow. Yep. Wow. So please vote for me. (laughs) Tall order there, Parvati. Yes. Yeah, well, Parvati, uh, thank you so much for uh, for joining us. Uh, you, you have definitely given people a lot to think about as they're uh, mulling over this vote next week. Thank you. Yes, and I'm sure you're going to be very busy trying to find the cure for cancer, so we'll, we'll let you go. <laughs> thank you very much. I'll be at ESP in my laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Parvati. Uh, th- thanks so much, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Okay, I love you guys. Bye, Parvati. Right, take care. <laughs> Bye. All right, Nicole, there you have it. Parvati Shallow, 
another tremendous performance by one of our finalists. Wowzer. She's going to be tough to beat. That is going to be tough to beat. I don't think you can beat um, Sir Mix-a-Lot. <laughs> no, I got back. I don't Just think saying. So. <laughs> a tour de force performance by Parvati. Tour de force. Tour de force indeed. So be sure to check out robhasawebsite.com for all of our interviews with the finalists. And then come back on February 8th, Wednesday night, and we were going to uh, open the voting for the Miss Survivor finalists. And the party starts there. The party starts there. We'll open the voting for one week until Survivor One World premieres. And then finally, we will announce the winner in a live show on Friday night, February 17th. We will crown the winner. We will crown. With, with a real crown. <laughs> with a real crown. <laughs> All right, everybody. Until next time, take care, everybody. Bye.